Hi, my name is Eleanor Page, and I'm going to teach you how I do my poodle hairdo. It's probably not the true, authentic way they used to do it. This is just a simpler, more step-by-step uh, -step way to do it. So, uh, you will need a hairbrush, nothing special. You will need hair clips. I love these. These are from Sally's. They come in small and large. You will need a comb, any comb. You will need hairspray. My favorite is Dedevon Tees shaping uh, spray. You will need bobby pins, lots of bobby pins. I use big ones and I also use tiny little baby bobby pins. I don't know if you can see that, but they're little. My hands are blue. You're also going to need your hands and you're going to need hair ties, two or three or none, depending on how you want to finish your style. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that I do for any hairstyle that I'm doing is I section my hair. Um, sectioning just really helps me figure things out um, and do it step by step. So for this particular style, I'm going to section my hair into four different sections. Uh, the first one will be my front piece here. It will be my side pieces on the back and then or the side, on the side and then um, the last piece on the back. So what I do to just get the front is I take my thumbs and I just go up and meet them at the top of my head, which is easier if you've done it a lot. Otherwise, you can use a rat tail comb or you can take a lot less time or a lot more time than I just did. But for the purposes of this video, I'm trying to go a little bit quicker for you. So, that's what my front section looks like. Once I've got that, I'm just going to take it, roll it, and then pin it at the top of my hair with one of my clips. These are from Sally's. They come in different sizes. The big ones are nice, but the small ones um, are easier to use if you're doing styles that require you to section it more. So once I do that, I'm going to go straight back from my frontal part. I'm going to go straight back. It's probably not the most beautiful parting job ever. But I'm going to then go from that point down behind my ears. And as you can see, my hair is not quite brand new, fresh, clean. I, uh, this is a couple days old. I recommend using hair that is about two days old. At about three days, my hair doesn't like me so much and it gets a little greasy. So, after that, I'm going to go the other side and go straight behind my ear once again. And these are probably, like I said, not the best parting jobs ever. But for you guys to see how I do it pretty quick, this is my best option. So I'm going to clip that one and then I'm just going to take a ponytail holder and I'm going to tie back the back so it's out of the way because they can get kind of irritating. Okay, so once I've done that, the first thing I'm going to do is victory roll the sides of my hair. So I'm going to take one of my sides out, grab a comb, and like in my last video, I like to section it off. Like everything I do. And tease it until it does something like that. If your hair doesn't do that, not a problem. Mine's just not terribly healthy, and it just, that's what it looks like. So I'll section up another piece. If you don't feel like ratting it, you don't have to. Um, you can just have smaller victory rolls. And then I'll wrap my last piece. Okay, so once you have this super beautiful clown do going on, you can smooth this under part here. 
and then I like to take mine all the way out. And just kind of smooth it a little bit. And I wrap mine around my thumb. And I'll just bobby pin it to my head. Oh, I might take another bobby pin. My hair is not terribly healthy, so it only takes about one bobby pin to get my Victor Rolls to stay in. Okay, so once that's in, I'm going to go to the next side, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to section it. And tease it. And then smooth out the sides that you're going to see. And normally it would take a little bit longer to do this than I'm taking. I'm going to wrap it around my thumb. And bring it in. And bobby pin it. Okay. So I have those two in. They're not the most beautiful ever, but they'll work. And then I'm going to take my favorite hairspray, which is Dita Von Tees. And it's not really hairspray, it's a shaping spray. And I'm just going to kind of smooth out the little baby hairs that I have. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this front piece. And once again, I'm going to section it. Um, I seem to section everything just because it helps me. So... I'm going to start with the front. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to go straight across. And I use my fingers. You can use a rat tail comb. You can use whatever you want. Get it nice and even. It takes a second. Sorry. So. Once I've got that, okay, I'm just going to put the rest of it back in between my Victor Rolls, which are kind of a nice little handy dandy holder for them. And then I'm going to separate this into three or four, depending on how much hair you have. So I'm going to take this little piece, and it's like doing little mini Victory Rolls. And I'm going to just tease it a little bit, and then wrap it around my thumb and roll it in. And bobby pin it. See? Little tiny baby victory roll. Take my next piece. Tease it. Wrap it around my thumb. And roll it in. And then bobby pin it. Okay, so the next piece I'm going to once again separate probably sometimes you get like these odd sized ones you don't really know what to do. You can kind of do whatever you want. You can make it one or you can make it two. So I'm going to tease a little bit. Wrap it around my thumb once again and roll it in. And for these little ones, I like to use these tiny little bobby pins. As you can see, they're not very big. Um, it helps kind of hide them a little bit. Unfortunately, I have blue hair, so hiding bobby pins is not <laughs> easy to do in my hair. If they're blonde, they show. If they're black, they show. So if you know where to find some blue bobby pins, let me know. I'm thinking about spray painting them. So, last one. Wrap around my thumb. Do that. 
and then just roll it in. Tiny bit bumpin. And bumpin it. So you have that first little front row of little tiny. That was my cat, sorry. Picture rolls. So I'm gonna take the next one and I'm gonna section this into three. So um, the next one I'm going to do slightly bigger. The front ones you don't want to be terribly big because you want to make it look like you have more than you do. So I'm going to section that one. Once again, sorry, my computer is making terrible death noises. And these don't have to be perfect so much because you're not going to see them. So I'm going to bobby pin that. As you can see, I started my second row. I'm going to separate this last piece into just two. So you're only going to have three. I'm only going to have three in my second row. And I'm going to roll it in. And bobby pin it. And the last one, tease it, roll it around your thumb like that, and roll it in. Okay, so as you can see, I have two rows done. I'm going to pause this really fast, and I'm going to finish the last row because it's the same exact thing, and then I'll show you how I part it down the middle and then braid it. Okay, right back. So I have finished rolling it. As you can see, I have just a couple little rows of um, tiny mini rolls. So I do the victory rolls first, and then I section my last section into three pieces. And I mini roll the front, the second one, and the third one. I start at the front because if you start at the back, it can get a little wonky in there and crazy. So once I've done that, I you can finish it off by leaving it down. Um, that looks cute. You can do... Uh, a snood which is you know another easy way just to cover it up and be done uh, you can put it in a bun you can put it in a ponytail or you can do sometimes what I like to do and I just section it right down the middle into two different pieces like that brush them out just a little bit and I like to take them and braid them. So if you don't know how to do a braid, look it up. I know there's tons of YouTube videos that will teach you how to do it. I'm doing mine pretty quick. Um, and then I just take a little hair tie and tie them off. Um, and then I go to the other side, section it into three. And then braid it. So, this is kind of just cute, um, a little bit different, and uh, it's pretty, pretty different. Uh, it's really easy to do. Like I said, if you just break your hair into sections and piece it together and do step by step. It's a whole lot easier than just like trying to figure it out hodgepodge. So if you have any questions, please ask me. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, my username is Eleanor Page Pinup. Please tag me in any pictures that um, you may take if in one of these hairstyles. I would love to see them and post them on my page. So I hope you have a great day and I hope this helped in some form to help you learn how to do a poodle. And. Uh, I hope uh, you can watch some of my other videos and I can make some more for you. So thank you. Have a great day.